don't think he did enough there. I think he, he stalled up and just didn't take the advantage. Yeah, and Hydridge wants this. He knows he needs to get some decent points in the bag this season. Hydridge not really made a move, but look at this from Heidenen, absolutely flawless at the moment. And Hydridge stalls up on that transition and allows Heidenen to start driving away. And that is the last thing you can do to this Finnish driver is give him any room to move. And now he starts to extend that ground and drive across the line. It's a huge move from Heinen, as I mentioned, who needed the win here. I mean, if you look across the bracket, he's got to see how Dwayne McKeever and James Dean do. But James Dean starting to edge that little bit of a lead, but more points in this qualifying showdown. Now Heinen's got to do better than those two at some point between now and the end of the season. That's just maths, or he's going to not win the championship. So he's got to do it here. He's got to get back in the mix to give himself any breathing room in Poland. Got to say, Heidrich, though, does comfort on the first corner. Really nice initiation from Heidrich. And you can see that he definitely doesn't want Laurie Heinen getting away from him. And he does a lot of brave moves. The one thing that I noticed, though, is on the transition, gets a little bit caught for it. And then when he transitions back, doesn't have the proximity. Maybe put a little bit too much angle into his chase run. And therefore, Heinen, once he got that opportunity, he was up and gone. Yeah, he was up and gone. You, like I say, you can't, um, you can't get, give him that room to manoeuvre. You can't let Heinen go. And, and the problem is with Max Hyde, which is he, he's got that big flair, that big style, that big angle, and he dials out on sometimes at the wrong parts, Dave. And the showman comes out rather than the the the, the, the battle driver. Yeah, I mean, Heinen now in the chase position, he's going to be feeling like his spotter's on the radio saying, look, you have the advantage, Laurie, now make it work. Get through this foul, put it on Heinrich's door. Heinrich's going to throw a wild entry in here, hoping to throw off Heinrich into the first corner. Let's see what happens on big angle from Heinrich. He goes right to the edge of the circuit, very aggressive for Max Heinrich. Laurie Heinrich waiting to pounce in the, in the background here as he comes through the much more proximity now from Heinrich as they come through this center section. Heinrich on a great line in the lead, though, and Heinrich now with that little bit more proximity. Early transition, Ryan, and that's what Heinrich didn't do, and Heinrich oh. great at the lead and Heinen does a great job of putting it on the door. That was so perfectly executed on that transition from Laurie Heinen. The way he positioned the car, that transition, he knew exactly where to move to dive up on the inside and get onto the side of uh, uh, Max Heidrich. And Laurie Heinen looks like he's stuck in his car potentially, but you've got to give it to Max Heidrich. What a lead line. Look at this, right up high and that on that ever so slightly banked corner. Gets that car to the outside zone. The transition was flawless as well. Look, no, too much angle. It carried the speed, carried the pace and the momentum into this outside zone. But all that done was open the door for Laurie Heinen. Laurie Heinen here was absolutely textbook. Watch this transition. Went, bam, perfectly timed. Look where he positioned the car. Up on the inside so he knew he could drive along the door of Heidrich. That was so good from Heinen. I think that last corner is going to decide quite a lot today because if you have no proximity there and your opponent does, well, that's a big telltale. Yeah. Very easy for the judges to say, you know, if the lead run is good on both sides and one driver is closer than the other, well, that's the advantage. So it looks to me like uh, this, from the outside looking in, looks like Laurie Heinen in the chase position has definitely had more proximity. Let's see which way the judges go. I mean, we, we never know. We, we are watching it more from an entertainment point of view than we are from a critical point of view. Let's see which way. Will Laurie Heinen continue the dream of the championship this year and go through? You bet your bottom dollar he will. He's into the top 16. Laurie Heinen gets the win and goes through to the top 16, and that will take the pressure off him. He's now... But hey, it has to be. This is the one, though. This is the one. Laurie Heinen against Juha Rinsen. This is the one. Because if Laurie Heinen loses here, he loses a big opportunity. Laurie Heinen to beat Juha because of the championship, but they don't want to see any Finnish driver go out. Here we go. Championship on the line. Yeah, it is on the line as well, Dave. But look at this from Heinen. All the way up on that bank. Full throttle. No messing around. Juha Rinsen optimizes on that perfect lead line. A little wobble there from Rinsen. And he goes in hard. Oh, and he goes in way hard. He came in so fast to make a dive on Heinen that there was no way he would slow that down, Dave. I think he just couldn't hang with the pace. Heinen was coming through that first section. He made a big jump. He knows how good Laurie is. He and hit Heinen as well. In the Euro, and look, there you go. Got it from the judges. But there were sparks from Juha's car. Watch this. I'm sure I see sparks at some point from you. Yeah, look, sparks. Does he db Now, has something happened because he can't slow the car down? No. So oh, he was so close to putting him and Laurie in the wall. Yeah. I wonder. I'm not sure what those sparks Watch are. Watch the sparks from this wheel. I'm sorry. To, oh, it's just from the exhaust. So yeah. is the exhaust burning the bits of rubble particles off yes. of the tarmac? So you couldn't see the exhaust from that angle, but I, I remember seeing sparks. You know what? Looking at that oh. on second glance. Yeah. 
he's not far away from getting away with it too. Like he, he wasn't so deep in the wall. Like he probably was about a foot over where he needed to be. A foot too much though. A foot Dave. too much, <laughs> which is why he ended up in the wall. Oh my oh, gosh! He just Look misses how Heinen's close car. that was. So, New Harrington's car deemed not safe to run. Laurie Heinen will get the win. And let's be honest, probably not much New Harrington could have done in the second run anyway to, no, kind of, to overturn that deficit. Not in the lead anyway. From the lead position, it's very hard. And our safety marshal down there, Maciek Polity, has told New Harrington that that is it. Unfortunately, it's game over. He probably doesn't agree. He'd probably run it with three wheels, to be honest. But he drive it with no wheels. He We've known you are for a long yeah. time, and that man. Yeah, yeah. he's not, not going to be happy. He could drive a shop trolley around there. He definitely could. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, it just uh, our marshal saying that yeah, it does that. You know, look at that, the wheel ah, catching the, the front. Bar. That's the problem. That's the issue. Yeah, the wheel is catching the front of the car, so that's why it's not deemed safe to run. Fair point. And there we go. I mean, and look, it proves our basis because earlier on we were get, getting information from people all over the circuit, and you know we thought James Dean had done a drive shaft or a, or a prop shaft, but it wasn't. It was a piece of rubber that took a belt off that shut the car down. But there we go, Laurie Hardman, very calculated, very clever, not doing too much, just doing enough there. And he'll be happy with that. And do you know what he'll he'll do? He'll go back and check that car all over. He will. I mean, he's already got the points he needs ahead of Dean and McKeever now. Yep. But how many points if he keeps going the way he's going? Now he won't have it. He won't have it all his own way tonight. That's for sure. But I'm sure the team with Laurie Heinen are going to put that car through every spanner check now to make sure everything is okay. And he said himself, worst start to the weekend all year. Yeah. Because he had so many issues. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter about all your practice issues. It all matters on the night when it needs to happen. And he's had none so far. So Laurie Heinen will get the official call, go through to the top eight. That's exactly what he needed, to be honest. After Riga, which as he said, he DB'd a tire. It was an unlucky one to lose a lot of points. But I think look at the nod of the head here. He's going to know that he has done it. He's into the top eight. Laurie Heinen back to business here in Hungary. And he's thankful. He's praying to someone because that was what he needed. So he's through the 32. He's through the 16. Well, you think you've seen it all? No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> we are into our top eight. Laurie Heinen goes up against Jack Shanahan. Laurie Heinen now. I don't know where he sits in the championship order we won't know till the end of the event because it's not over yet we don't know the scores are still being calculated because he's still in the mix McKeever went out Dean went out and now Laurie Heinen's in the driver's seat of the championship if he can take down Jack Shannon Jack Shannon has taken down Peter Vjainsek so that is where we sit right now it could not be more tense it could not be more extreme these guys are ready to throw down and it means more than anything in the world than that ever has happened before to these two right now and it means the world and it means more to Laurie Heinen right now but Jack will know that if Connor's in contention he can stop Heinen and get Jack uh, Connor further off they fire in look at the initiation from Laurie Heinen Jack deals with it as he fires on more angle Heinen buried into the wall absolutely ripping through the circuit is Laurie Heinen Jack doesn't have an answer right now but now he starts to climb down starts to climb onto the door and that S13 as they fire through this is so fast across the line Laurie Heinen just went into warp speed on that last what corner was that? where did he, did he pull Holy gear, something happened. He just took off. And I'm not sure Connor, Sh or Connor Shannon or Jack, Jack Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> no, There's too many Shannon hands, yeah, too many Connors. Yeah. There's not a Shannon in the land that was ready for, for that. Um, oh, I mean, I'll also say Jack Donishane. This is a little mistake, I think. He comes in shallow. He comes in shallow, yeah. And he, and he gets a little bit caught by Laurie's very, I would say, flamboyant big angle. Yeah. Flamboyant angle. Uh, but look at this from Laurie. Arnie. In, He's the, in the Oh, wall. my goodness. Tags the wall as he comes through there. And Jack Shannon doing a good job. I mean, it's no, there's no mistakes here. But that lead run, I think he did top qualifying with that lead run. Yeah, and that's what he couldn't do yesterday. He had those mechanical issues with the car, which he hasn't had all year. Just here, look. Boom. He just takes off. And Jack can do nothing. He's not even on the foot brake at all. Jack and is Laurie, sacrificing Laurie's line. on the right line. Yeah. Jack's not on the foot brake trying to sacrifice any pace. He's full throttle and he still can't gain on him, even by shortcut and circuit. I think, and this is only me because it means nothing, but I think after the first run, I would say advantage Heinen. Let's see where we go here. Well, he's got the pace. Can he deal with Jack Shanahan right now? They're coming down. A big flick in from Shanahan. Keeps it controlled, though. Now looks for the outside zone. Heinen's in the smoke. We can't even see him. He's that close. Fires it across the circuit. Heinen needs to apply a little pressure here. Starts to wind the, turn the screw a little. And he needs to get something up on Jack because he fires on the transition can he get off onto the door across the line he can but the lead line from jack wasn't the cleanest mm, i don't know ah the outside zone last outside zone yeah me old mate dave have a look i'm just gonna say have a look have all right let's have a look let's have a look, look. right
Heinen matches the angle initiation. That's better than Jack Shannon, yep. in my opinion. Again, we're not judging this. We have no authority. Jack's perfect here. This is really good from Shannon. You can see half his car is disassembling as he goes through there. Heinen goes in not as close no. on proximity there. Jack Shannon definitely had more proximity through that section of the course. You can see Heinen. It's like he's like a truck wheel he has in there. It's just a big, it's a steer big steering wheel. It's a big steering wheel. Is it a big steering wheel or is he a small guy? Hey, perspective. Oh, you never right. know. It's camera angle. It's camera angle. Here, oh, just, oh, Laurie goes close here. This is the difference maker. Look. Look where Jack is. Yeah, not out to the outer zone as much as Laurie was, and Laurie's closer. So at the end of the run, you've got to give it game set and match to Laurie. But the rest of it, still up for debate. I don't know. You pulled the gear and was, you were gone. So let's see what happens as we go to the top. It's Laurie Einan getting the win. He's going to the top four. He's going to the semi-finals. Laurie Einan could be back in the driver's seat in this championship. And we're only into the top four. Laurie Einan right now is in the position he wants to be. He's fighting for the championship this year. But he's got an emotional, a wound up Kevin Piscalti beside him. Piscalti wants to win it for the Hungarian crowd in attendance. Laurie Heinen wants to win it for the Finnish fans that have travelled to every single round this year. This is a massive battle for the championship. And if Laurie Heinen can take this to the final, he's going to be primed and ready for Poland in a few weeks. But Piscotti, well, he could spoil the party and start another here tonight. Here we go. Yeah, through the gears, down through the chicane, they come. Look at Piscotti onto the back bumper already. Heinen throws in that big flamboyant initiation, and it works for him once again. Piscotti deals with it, creeps up the inside. Piscotti knows what Laurie Heinen is all about. Look at Piscotti onto the front wheel. The contact. And Pascoli has to shut it down. Heinen and continues to run. Pascoli gets back into it. But Pascoli made his own mistake. He did. He went too aggressive. Way too aggressive. He hit Laurie Heinen and I think he did damage to the car or he broke something in the car or something stalled him off angle or he dropped off boost or something happened. But Pascotti, he just went for it. That didn't work out. He, he, but he had to go for it. You're battling Laurie Heinen, a man who's been so close to a championship for two years running now, and he's just not made it there. And you know that Laurie Heinen, once he's in the zone, when he's there, he's killer. He hit the front wheel, I do believe, and it just upset the front wheel of uh, Kevin Pascotti. Wheel to wheel drifting. Look at this, watch, as he creeps down. Yeah, look, the smoke come off of both front wheels there. And you know what? It's very lucky that that front wheel of Heinen's didn't slow and he didn't put Heinen into a spin. Yeah, and I'm wondering, is there any damage on Piscalti's car? It's a pretty heavy hit to the front wheel of Heinen's car. I mean, you can tell. Definitely, I mean, not even going to say it because it's still another run to go and anything can happen. Anything can happen, but Piscalti just pushed that a little too hard. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, here we go. We get the green light ready to rock and roll. Piscotti to lead out Heinen for the spot in the first and second playoff. For the, the fire in. Absolutely incredible. Piscotti drops way down, though. Can he get the outside zone? Of course he can. He knows his track on the back of his hand. Flicks it across the circuit. Heinen on him, though. As Piscotti goes deep into the wall. Beautiful lead line so far from Kevin Piscotti as he starts to pull away from Heinen. And Heinen not doing too much right now as he knows he's almost got this one in the bag. I'll tell you what, Laurie Heinen, he didn't even need to push that hard, and he did. He is confident. If he thinks he can go that close when he doesn't need to, when he needs to, he's comfortable in that position. I think Laurie Heinen would have taken that run as a bit of practice, which for, I'm not going to jump ahead, but I think that's for the final. Yeah. But Kevin Piscotti could still get a podium. Just going to put it out there. If he does lose, he can go third and fourth place playoff. He could still go third and fourth place playoff, yeah. But for me watching that, honestly, I mean, we don't like to speculate, but I just don't see anything other than a mistake from Piscotti in the chase. Laurie Heinen on rails, on rails the whole way through that I run. I told you, it's a train station this weekend. Yeah. And he's, beautiful. he's driving. Pascoli's lead line is absolutely textbook as well, Dave. You can see yeah. that that man's had a lot of seat time on this track because he knows it so well. Look at that line. Well, here's my thing. Laurie Heinen is driving like a champion. He's driving like a champion. He's going through every hurdle They're today. They're sorry to each other now. Yeah. Going through every hurdle. And these are two very nice gentlemen behind the scenes. Kevin Piscaldi, I think he knows what's going to happen next. Going through to the final of round five is Laurie Heinen. Laurie Heinen goes through to the top. Well, the top, I say the top two. Big names of the sport. Two guys that I think everybody who's a drift fan will cheer on right now and know that they haven't always been at the top. Laurie Heinen's been second, second, second. He got his first win in Finland. He could get his second win here in Hungary. Kavia, well, he's never won around a Drift Masters. It will be history in the making. And I'm going to question, has a Norwegian driver ever won around a Drift Masters? But I'm not even getting into the, that, but I'm pretty sure they haven't. So this is huge. Kavia, 
Heinen's got all the points in the bag as it is, but the maximum points is what he's going for. He needs to win this one, and I'm not sure where he sits in the standings at the end of this, but he'll be way up there. Now Kavia has got to prove, is this his day? Is this his night? Can he get the job done? Heinen in the lead as the higher qualifier, Kavia in the chase, and here we go. Through the gears, down, no messing around. Big opposite flick from Laurie Heinen, and Kavia deals with it. Look at Kavia glued to the door of the other S13 as they fire across the circuit. Kavia now waits for the transition. Heinen gets himself into the wall. So does Kavia. No messing around, though. Back out of it again as they go deep. And Kavia goes for an early transition. Up onto the door he goes as Heinen and drags him across the line. Oh, it's knife edge. Knife edge from Kavia. I thought he was going in the wall. He almost did what Kevin Piscotti did and go in the wall behind Heinen, but he got away with it. That was a very, very fast run. I mean, the speed of that run compared to what we've watched earlier today, they're, they're trusting this track now in their cars and their ability. I mean, look, they're just trusting everything. They're trusting the circuit's going to deliver, and it is delivering. Look at this from Toro and Ikevia. The chase run once again, textbook, but the lead run from Laurie Hyden and textbook. He just couldn't get that done yesterday in qualifying, but today he can get it done, and he's proving that's a championship drive. He wants to be a champion, and he's driving like a champion. But massive aggression from Kavia. And I'll be honest with you that if Heinen doesn't bring the fight here, he's going to lose this because that's a lot of proximity from Kavia through the whole course. Just put it out there. This is no cakewalk for Laurie Heinen. He's got to put it on the door. And that, if he wants this championship, if he wants to get out of second place, if he wants to stop seeing the phrase second place, he's got to trust Kavia can get the job done here. He's got to put it on the door for Finland, and he's got to put it on top step of the championship. Here we go. Yeah, look at this. Nice initiation. Heinen goes late on the initiation. Gets that car set up, but Kavia's already up and gone. Flicks that car from left to right. Heinen, a big throttle. Dabs on the foot brake. Now looks for the side of Kavia, and I don't think he's had that much proximity before as Kavir now starts to drive away. Kavir almost gets taken out by Heinen. He's glued oh, to the forget door. About it. Forget about it. That transition from Heinen, forget about it. That's absolutely insane. He almost threw the car, the championship, and the whole kit and caboodle out the window there. I'll tell you what, if he hits him there, that's the two cars written, written off. off. My goodness. And oh, up and until then, it was tit for tat. Up for then, I was thinking, this I'm, is the balance. I'm going to just go out there and say, I don't think that Heinen had as much proximity in the first half of that run as Kavir did. Complete, I was going to say, agreed. Kavir was, was, you know what, starting to drag this one away. I think Kavir was like one foot on the top step of the podium. But then from here on out, Heinen started to trust Kavir, started to lean on him a little bit. They got through this outside zone, and then... Heinen said, you know what, no more messing around, time to get the job done. Took a big risk here. Man, this transition was scary. If we see that from the outside again, look at this. Watch this. Doesn't even make sense, watch. Oh, come on. Oh, we, even the drone God. can't figure it out. And he was closer than Kavir across the line. Both lead lines were exceptional, <sighs> but for me, sealing the deal was, was Laurie Heinen on that I mean, final outside zone. Well, we're getting a decision from the judges. Winning round five in Hungary is... Laurie Heinen gets the win! Laurie Heinen has won it. He's won the event. He can't believe it. Laurie Heinen, I mean, my goodness, what a night.